Are you ever afraid that Brian is going to roll over in his sleep and crush you? Um, no, I'm not afraid that he's going to roll over in his sleep because he sleeps so hard. He passes out. What I will say is there have been times where he maybe accidentally puts his arm on me or on my arm and just his arm is so heavy. So um, if he did roll over in his sleep, I would probably be in trouble. What quick snacks do you give the boys when you are on the go or out and about besides fruit? So first of all, I do give them fruit often. So I'm kind of curious if you're against fruit or if you already got that down and you're thinking, what else can I give them? Um, to be honest with this answer, we don't do a lot of snacking in the car or out and about. I try to give them a meal before we go or prepare for a meal when we get home. If I do want to give them snacks while we're on the go, I will sometimes give them typical kid snacks uh, like crackers or something along those lines, or I also give them protein bars. I'm not saying that those are the best options, but that's real life, that's parenthood, and uh, I like to teach them balance as well. So sometimes it's something really healthy, sometimes it's not quite as healthy, but something they're still gonna enjoy, kind of fill their bellies, and it's not awful like, I don't know, Cheetos or something like that. What are your favorite ab exercises? So first thing is, to be completely honest with you, I don't really do a lot of ab exercises where I'm thinking, I'm gonna do this exercise and see if I can get my abs to show. In my opinion, having abs that show are more about having a low percentage of body fat. And also, some people are just more genetically able to have their abs showing or maybe their legs are a little bit leaner or whatever it may be. For me, I always feel that um, my legs are really hard to show the definition, but for whatever reason, my core, I can get a little bit leaner there than I can in my legs. So. As far as favorite ab exercises, I can't say I have um, tons of favorite ones here. However, I do do the typical ones. I do planks. Um, I actually really like mountain climbers. That doesn't really seem like an ab exercise, but when you're holding that plank position, pulling your knees in towards your chest, I like that. I also like hanging knee raises. Uh, I just find them challenging. So yeah, those are a few exercises. Do you prefer HIIT, endurance cardio, or weights when you work out? Is it hard to stay within your macros when you make food for your boys and Brian? So uh, two questions here, both questions I like. So let's start with, do you prefer HIIT, endurance cardio, or weights when you work out? Um, this has really changed for me over the years based on kind of what my goal is like or what my life is like at that time, the demands of my life. Uh, right now, I would say more of the HIIT, uh, CrossFit type of workout just because it's fast. <laughs> Honestly, that's the, the, the biggest reason. It's fast. I don't get bored. It's different all the time. And for me, I'm doing the cardio and the weightlifting all at the same time. So that's what I prefer. With that said, I don't really believe that one is better than the other. I think you should do what is the most fun for you. And that is going to what it, that's what's going to work for you because you're just doing it consistently. As far as hard to stay within your macros or I guess stick to my diet uh, with the boys and Brian. Um, yeah, sometimes. <laughs> Brian has good food and sometimes I would like to indulge in that. Sometimes I do indulge in that because that's balance. The boys... Not so much with them. This sounds so disgusting, but they're one, they're three. They have runny noses. They're sticking their fingers in their noses. They're doing whatever, sticking their hands in their diaper. That's so disgusting. Um, so I do not have a hard time staying away from like their leftover foods. I know a lot of parents say that they pick at the kids' leftover foods. That is not me. I don't pick at the kids' leftover foods because that just disgusts me. What are the best remedies slash what is the best advice you will give to a couple having their first baby who are also chasing fitness goals? I'm a strong man. My wife is a triathlete. First of all, congratulations on welcoming baby. It's awesome and life-changing and exhausting, <laughs> but it's wonderful. Seriously. Um, my, my best advice while you're still chasing your goals and balancing life and everything with a new baby is 
this is going to come out in a negative way, but I really mean this positively, is don't expect perfection of yourself. And don't expect that you're going to attain this massive goal within a month or two of welcoming um, that new baby. Life is going to be different. It's going to be different in an amazingly good way. Um, But you need to admit that it's going to be different. It's going to be a hard adjustment at first. So don't expect perfection of yourself. But if you can keep that progress going or stay where you are at, that is a win. Um, Little things. Let's say you go to the gym. Let's just pretend five days a week right now. And baby comes and you only make it two or three times um, that week or for the first few weeks. That is a win in my book. You are still going to the gym. There's a lot of people that just baby comes in and they give up on their goal as a parent or as, as their self. They're now a parent, but they give up on those goals before baby and they maybe stop completely working out or they stop eating healthy. So my best piece of advice is really be okay with that. Be proud of yourself that you're still making progress. It's maybe not as fast or as big of progress as it was before baby. Um, But once you get routine in check and you kind of learn yourself as a parent and what your baby needs and everything like that, uh, then you will be back on track to maybe going to the gym five days a week and getting faster success towards your goal. So I hope that makes sense. Uh, And I also would say don't, don't give up on yourself as an individual. Yes, you are becoming someone's mommy, someone's daddy. Um, Your relationship as spouses is going to be different. Um, You're going to become a parent. Uh, But you also still have to um, fulfill your own joy, find joy in things that make you happy. So, and good luck with baby. How did you approach postpartum as far as getting back into shape, diet, and exercise wise? Uh, This is a great question. Um, I feel like there's so much pressure on moms um, to get back in shape, to look a certain way, buy a certain time, whatever. Um, I think that's all crap. So let's start there. For me, the approach that I took was finding happiness and confidence with myself. So it wasn't about what I weighed or what size pants I fit into or any of that. It was was I happy? Was I confident in my body? And to do those things, I need to move. That's what makes me happy. That's kind of like my outlet. Um, So I started very slowly with exercise uh, weeks after having baby. And it varied from my first birth with Braxton to my second birth with Kellen because my body reacted differently to birth. So um, start slow. Know your body. Uh, <clears throat> two, I didn't do ab exercises for an extremely long time. I didn't do them at all during birth. Um, I didn't do ab exercises as soon as I found out I was pregnant. Some people may agree with that. Some may disagree with that. I'm just explaining my experience. As far as diet... <laughs> I don't know if you have a baby, the person that asks this or not. Um, It is hard when you are exhausted and this baby relies on you for everything. So for diet, I just did the best I could. Some days that meant I was shoving pizza in my face. Some days that meant I was having a healthy breakfast of eggs and oatmeal with some fruit. And by dinner, I was eating pizza. And some days... I was great. I had healthy meals all day. What I will say is if you are trying to feed your baby, if you are breastfeeding, make sure you take that into consideration. For me, that was a priority. So it wasn't how fast can I lose weight or look a certain way or whatever. It was taking care of my baby and taking care of myself, making sure I felt good. Um, So getting a shape, diet, and exercise, I think that that answers that just Give yourself grace. Women, give yourself grace. Men, if you're watching this, um, I love you, but you don't know what it's like. So support your spouse and try not to be judgmental um, because it's hard. It's really hard. 
there's so much pressure from every avenue. So my, my best piece of advice is give yourself grace, know your body and, and take it slow, but also find happiness. And if moving makes you happy or eating healthy makes you happy, then do that because a happy mom is the best thing we can ask for.